all right i'm blaming killer merch and laura lee for this i missed my bus this morning as i talked about it in my um, previous video this is part two of this video because the first video i posted about laura lee and the palette and the review my camera um, that actually the the my card the memory card that i was using was full yeah so it just stopped recording so this is the um second video and i just wanted um to say yeah i missed my um university bus um for those y'all that don't know i um sometimes go to the um university that i graduated from to study for the lsat and i missed that bus this morning the 91 and i talked about that in the previous video to this one this is part two okay all right since the camera um you know the the card was full this is um on the last video and i couldn't record anymore this is a um new card that i um just um purchased to film this particular video and yes i'm still using the 18 dollar camera that i got from walmart i know this is on amazon for 12 dollars the video camera but let me get into this um video this is the um the palette right here and um i've seen um some of like the pr reviews and then also um the comments and things i purchased this particular palette last friday um when it first was um released on october the 13th friday the 13th and you know um as far as the cat's pajamas, I know, you know, people were saying, you know, um, this um, particular, you know, palette, you know, about it being cohesive and things like that. And, um, you know, I know Tati did a, a review um, video and things like that. And, you know, um, I was thinking, you know, you know, people going to have their own opinions. And I know as far as like the dislikes and things like that, I'm like, you know, I think some people just get up in the morning, they have a dislike, you know, YouTube dislike quota. Just have a quota for dislikes on YouTube. But anyway, um, as far as the um, cat's pajamas, I'm outside, guys. Like I mentioned in my previous video, um, and um, I, the reason I'm outside, and this is unedited as well. The reason I'm outside, because this camera doesn't work very well, since it's only $18. Um, this camera doesn't work very well in, um, in the inside, even with like lighting and everything like that. I'm getting a new camera. As um, Some of y'all already know that my webcam died on me. And I'm going to be moving around in this video. As y'all can hear like the background noise and things like that. And... Um, yeah, I got this car right here. It's, it's, um, it's, it's perfectly precious. Yeah, something else. But I'm going to talk about like the pros and the cons in this video as well as, um, as y'all can tell by the title, I'm confused. Yeah, confused. Um, I'm going to talk about like um, there's like an error in the, um, the packaging that I noticed as well as an error on as far as the... Um, the palette itself, the, the writing or whatever on the um, the palette, there was an error on like the actual um, package. So I um, I'm sending a message soon to um, Laura Lee Los Angeles to find out which one I need to which one is right as far as the error which is correct. So that's what I'm confused about. But anyway, yes, I purchased this palette and it came in this box right here. As y'all can see, it says Laura Lee, Los Angeles, Cat's Pajamas, Eyeshadow Palette, and this is um, 23 grams. I'm going to just flip the back over, and it has LauraLeeLosAngeles.com, it's her Instagram, as well as... Um, other information about the colors, the ingredients, and then speaking of the ingredients, guys, I did some research about um, eyeshadow palettes and just cosmetics in general, not just eyeshadow and how, you know, some um, companies use talc and talc can be like the first ingredient and I was reading um, how um, talc actually um, 
as far as like when they put it in especially eyeshadow and some other like cosmetics and makeup as well they put talc in it to decrease the concentration of the product so I was like okay so since this doesn't have um, talc in it um, as like the first ingredient um, then the, then the, the color should be you know pigmented um, and also um, guys um, I noticed you know it has the um, the mica in it and that sort of thing and I'm gonna leave information in the description box about the ingredients and that sort of thing um, and I'm gonna show you my eye look um, soon in this um, video this is gonna be a rather lengthy um, video because I want to cover you know my thoughts the pros and cons the error that I was talking about as well okay um, I'm going to just read the colors. This is Okie Dokie. That's the color I use today. And I'm going to show it to y'all in a little later in this video. My eye look. I use Okie Dokie. I use um, Redunka. <laughs> which is my favorite. I was like, wow, this is so, so pretty. Um, I showed y'all swatches in the previous video. Before, you know, I couldn't record anymore because my card was full. Um, this is um, Quirky, Quirky, Quirky. Get it right, Alicia. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna do other, um, another eye look on my other YouTube channel. Yes, I'm gonna do other eye look on my other YouTube channel. But um, I use that color, uh, which was I wish Kooky was a little bit more um, pigmented. Um, but I use also use that color. Then also I use today um, out the other, which is gorgeous. I love, 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 love that color. I even went to the store earlier today after I missed the shuttle because I had to wait because the shuttle comes every hour to go to university. I um I <laughs> I was like okay. Wow, I was like, well, let me go to, to the store. I got something to drink and a snack. And I asked the cashier how she liked my eyeshadow. She said, oh, she thought it was um, nice. She liked it. And she also mentioned, you know, how she likes to, like, use neutral colors herself. And she said she really doesn't like, you know, like, blue eyeshadows and that sort of thing. Which, you know, I really don't like using blue eyeshadow myself unless I'm, like, going to a special occasion or just want to be you know play fun with eyeshadow or whatever but I thought overall this is a good um like neutral palette and I'm gonna just go into like some of the like negatives of this palette in general later in this video I also use um oddball oddball and then also guys um in my other video I have mentioned about the palette how um when I first got this in the mail yesterday after I got from work um <laughs> I opened it up I, I was outside and as soon as I pulled this out the box I was like wow and I know this camera is not doing it justice let me move to see if y'all can see it in like the regular light see how shiny it is and like glitter I like how like sturdy this palette is as well it's like it's very nice I like to hold it and as y'all know um I was a reporter I covered court cases I was um I used to write a lot of notes and kind of like this size reminds me of like the notebooks I used to carry for like my when I did reporting for like almost like nine years I was a reporter um I did court reporting, court cases. I um, just went to like different um, school board meetings, town council meetings, and that sort of thing while I was a reporter for eight and a half years at a um, newspaper. And also um, while I was a reporter, I got um, like TV um, interviews and that sort of thing. But I never worked in the TV industry. No one never hired me. Um, I continued to work as a uh, reporter for a newspaper. So um, as far as like details, I'm like very detail oriented because I worked um, well with like the editor. I also worked for a um, magazine um, 
well, I was a uh, uh, contract writer for a magazine. So far as details, I'm like really into like details and that sort of thing. That's why I picked up that error that I saw on the um, packaging and then on the back of here, I was like, I'm like, I'm confused. So which one should I go by? But I'll um, tell y'all about that a little bit later in this um, video. Y'all might want to um, get some popcorn or some candy because I'm going to be talking for a while in this um, video. Then I'm going to show y'all my eye look as well. So, um, yeah, um, as far as um, the eyeshadows itself, some of them I just wish were like more pigmented. Like I mentioned in um, my previous video before I got cut off, in that video, I um, said that I um, basically swatched the colors and that sort of thing. Hold on, guys. I'm going to move because there is some lawnmower situation going on. Um, I'm going to move right quick. Hold on right quick. Oh, y'all see that? Glitter. Bam, 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 bam. With the palette. Y'all see that? Alright, I'm moving guys, so y'all bear with me. I hope y'all having a great day, great week. All that jazz. Um, yeah, and then also guys, um, some people were talking about the pricing for this. I know some people were like, oh, you know, I don't think it's worth $40. And, but, you know, you got to take into account it was made in the United States. And pricing is a little higher. As well as, also you got to take into account... Um, I know some people don't really know what goes into like manufacturing and distribution and that sort of thing, those type of calls. And I just started learning about it because um, I'm like working on a project myself. And um, I'm not going to say what it is here. It's not an eyeshadow, by the way. But. Um, you know the quantities that you have to have in order to even start it and the ingredients ingredient list um, just to talk about a little bit about myself I know the company that I'm working with now as far as the ingredients that the product that I'm trying to develop the company um, told me that they couldn't mix certain ingredients it's, it's like the the concentration in the order that I wanted to have the ingredients. They told me I couldn't um, do that. So <laughs> we're like trying to get like the right type of formula and ingredients and formulation down. But I know it's going to be a while. But anyway, back to this video. I'm moving. Just moving. Bear with me, guys. Um... Because I'm trying, it's a lot of background noise here outside. So, um, yeah. So, y'all can check out that other video. I talk about how I missed my shuttle this morning. And I'm blaming Laura Lee and Killer Merch and whoever else behind the company. Because I was getting ready with my eye look today. And I know I was running behind. I was on the computer. And, yeah. Yeah, it's something else. But yeah, I saw this card today and I picked it up. It says, Perfectly Precious, um, Miss Teeny Tiny Kitty is standing on her toes in tiny, tiny slippers, tiptoed by her tiny, tiny boats. But this, this is a um, happy second birthday for a child. And, you know, this has a cat on it too. It doesn't have anything to do with a cat turning to it's talking about a child and so that reminds me of the palette reminds me of a book that um, I read that you know before it's uh, it's called in the, the title of the book is called um, the duck that won the lottery and that book has nothing to do with ducks it doesn't have nothing to do with the lottery it's a philosophical book it's a pretty good book and um, you know, there's like a lot of symbolism and creativity and like different things like whether it's books and movies like Hidden Tiger, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon and all that stuff. Um, you know, 
people use like metaphors and things like that so um, as far as cat's pajamas you know it's like people say oh it's the best it's the bomb dig blah 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 you know you know it's a saying it's not to take it at face value and I mentioned that in my other video before it cut me off um, so yeah and also guys look at this detail too I noticed it has kitty and like I said this is an unedited edited video I'm not even going to edit this video this is pretty much what you see is what you get in this video and um in a little bit I'm going to show y'all my um, eye look and then I showed y'all my swatches in my um, other video but I'm going to swatch a couple of, um, of colors in this video right quick just a second guys alright alright I'm going to swatch Kirk let's watch that one right quick all right it's kind of like a purplish burgundy situation color let me just watch it right here and kind of like a weird like place y'all can see that let me move over I'm gonna swatch it on the back right here too back of my arm all right and keep in mind I don't have any primer on my arm it's not any liquid my arm isn't wet to make it intense this is straight up the pigmentation and I'm going to show y'all kooky this is one I wish was more pigmented because it's like that reddish color that's kooky I wish it was as like pigmented as the kirky one but here we go that's that and then here's oddball this is the like the controversial one that people were talking about uh, so that's that for as that is concerned and let me just show y'all my eye look right quick And I told y'all which colors I use for my eyes, and this is this is this. Hold on one second, guys. Hope y'all can see that, okay? Once again, this is only eighteen dollar camera, so I hope it's picking up, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna move over here, okay? All right, now, um. As far as um, the era that I'm talking about, um, I noticed that the actual packaging, like the box that came out of it says, like the duration for the product, how long it lasts, as far as, you know, um, shelf life of the product, it said 12 months. But on the back of here, it says 24 months. So I'm like, okay, which one is it? As y'all can see, this says 24 months, but the packaging says something else. But, um, also, um, what else I want to, um, address? Oh, um, the, her, as far as her, um, website, um, I know she, her Alexa ranking is through the roof, by, by the way, for her website. And for those y'all that don't know what Alexa ranking means, um, Google and other search engines like Yahoo play a part in a website's Alexa ranking. The lower the number for the Alexa ranking, the higher it, there's a, a lot of factors that's involved. A lot, a lot of factors in, that determines the Alexa ranking. And one of those factors is how much traffic a website gets and her Alexa ranking is really low it's like in the top 100,000 um, websites which there are millions and millions and millions of websites um, 
and I um, noticed like the links that like are going into her website that are linked in um, and y'all can check this information at alexa.com um, so um, yeah um, you can check that out, that out. but um, once again as far as being confused what I was confused about is the um, the 24 and the 12 month range um, this is a um, cruelty free um, product um, you know they didn't test on animals and things which is good um, there's the recycling thing symbols and things like that um, but yeah this is like the entire back of the palette and then the um, the weight of the palette um, I showed y'all that in previous video talked about that um, the um, the net weight 10 by 2 grams um, and also um, I know she trademarked you know her which is great um, it's this made in the US trademark um, Laura Lee Inc um, and as far as I'm um, trademarking it I noticed when I looked up information that I know she did that this summer with an attorney um, which is awesome um, so yeah um, this palette overall as far as the cost now we can say this about a lot of things is it worth it is it worth the price we can say that about food we can say that about clothes we can say that about a lot of things um, we can say that about cigarettes. And people smoke cigarettes every day, and you don't even need cigarettes. So, um, and to me, you know, if you're buying cigarettes every day, that's a waste of money. But it's just my opinion, whatever. But anyway, um, as far as um, the palette itself, I um, do agree with some people as far as the pricing. Now, I don't know what her overhead costs or are. I don't know because I know she said she had to change labs. I don't know if that had something to do with the cost. Um, you know, I don't know what other expenses she had to do. I know um, she had like that thick cover which I showed in my other video before it cut me off. I showed that. I know that's a little bit more pricier well my, from my understanding it's more pricier she even said that in her um reveal video and then um also um i know she talked about um how hard she worked and how she didn't have investors and um so her and her husband you know they worked on this and you know um she worked on this for almost two years for almost two years she worked on this I think it's just great as far as the pricing is concerned. Forty dollars. Then shipping was five eighty eight. Total of forty five eighty eight. I'm here on the East Coast. Um, it shipped in about six days. I got it. I ordered it on Friday when she first released it on Friday the thirteenth, October thirteenth, two thousand seventeen. I got it yesterday, which was Thursday. October the 19th 2017 and the reason I'm saying 2017 in case somebody's watching this video later um yeah the reason that's why I'm saying the dates in case y'all wondering why is she saying the dates I'm about to dislike this video I'm about to dislike this video because I have a dislike like about this and I have a quote out of me so yeah <laughs> I'm including that and also guys um I've been seeing some negativity going on in criticism. Okay, I'm going to just let y'all know. I'm going to disable the comments if I see people like yelling at each other in the comment section, calling each other names and stupid and dumb and just going crazy in the comment section. I'm going to let y'all know right now, this is 24 minutes into this video that I'm seeing this. I'm going to let y'all know right now, I'm going to disable the comments. Yes, I'm going to disable the comments if y'all start, like, acting, like, cray-cray. It's this color. It's right here where it is. Cray-cray. I haven't used cray-cray. Um, but, um, like I said, I use 
the uh, five colors which is okie dokie i use this one for my brow bone as i talked about in my other video i use uh redunculus i can't wait to use scatterbrain scatterbrain seems pretty too but i use redunculus i use perky i use the cookie the, the reddish color i use in one ear and i use oddball oddball like i said when i was asleep for six hours in my bed last night i woke up and it was still on um kirky was still on my swatch too but all the other swatches